How's it going everyone? Today we'll be talking about what the heck a spring bean is. So a spring bean is just a Java object that spring is in charge of. Okay, so why would we do that? One big reason is that we can use dependency injection. Okay, so we'll get into what all that is if you don't understand that. But basically just think of it as a, just a plain Java object that spring is managing for us. Okay, so let's look at some examples of a spring bean. So I have a class here uh, that I've instantiated a bean. And I'll talk about what that at bean means there in a second. But here is a DynamoDB client. So DynamoDB is a NoSQL database provided by AWS. Um, but this could be any database like MySQL or Postgres or whatever. Um, this is a good candidate for a bean because a bean's default scope, meaning how many times it's created, is singleton. So the default one is singleton. Because it's a singleton, only one of them is created in the whole application. So we only need one DB client for our whole application usually. And then here's another example. We just have a string that is an app name. Maybe that's some configuration. Maybe I use that in other places. So let me get into dependency injection just a little bit here. So I have DynamoDB enhance client here, right? So then I use that in my repository class, which is responsible for doing queries to the database. So I have this at auto wired annotation here, which is where it takes that bean that was instantiated at the beginning and injects it. Dependency injection injects it into this class here, into this variable, and now I'm able to use that bean. Remember there's only one bean in the whole application and it's injected here. I could inject it in other classes, but it's still that same instance of that class that was created in, with that at bean annotation. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. We can inject it in other places. So that's one reason why Spring manages those beans. It's just a Java object that basically we create with the special Spring annotations. Spring manages it, then we can use it in other places. All right, so here's a few ways to create Spring beans. There's uh, I think some other ones as well, but these are the most common. First one here and is the most straightforward is to use the at bean annotation in a configuration class. So I showed that here, I have this spring config class that is annotated with at configuration that tells spring that, hey, this class is going to contain beans that you need to create at startup and manage. So the, that is one way to create beans. I can create other beans here, as many beans as you want. And then the second way is through annotations at the class level. So like at component, at service, at rest controller, et cetera. There's a bunch of other ones that you can look at. These are the most common. So if I go to example, my controller, we have at rest controller here. This now is a bean because of at rest controller. And then I have my service here, which I inject. So if I go to service, uh, let me just go into the implementation. Okay, you can see it's at component but this could be at service. They're pretty much the same thing, uh, but that creates a bean, okay, that Spring manages. So that's this whole class. So that's a little bit more confusing because it doesn't actually say at bean, but you just kind of need to know under the hood that this is creating a bean for us. And I can inject this service, which is just doing some business logic here um, for this application, and it's injecting it into this controller here. As you can see, I'm not instantiating this service anywhere. It's instantiated uh, by Spring as a bean uh, under this service interface. And I'll post the link to all this code. This is just a sample application that I have. So you could take a look at how I'm structuring everything if you have questions. Uh, but basically that is it for this tutorial. That is just a basic summary of what a bean is in Spring. I know it was confusing for me when I first learned. So just remember it is just a Java object that Spring manages we can inject in other places, um, and the default scope is singleton. Cool. Thanks a lot.